Hello and welcome back to another episode of Jacket Alliance 3. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Mission Impossible Lone Wolf, Level Weapons, Dead is Dead, um, and Time is Money run. So we got all of the achievements, uh, including Tag Team or Duo Team, because if you Lone Wolf, well, then that is included as well. So all of the achievements above. Uh, Ivan is uh, rocking the boat and we're fighting uh, in the next iteration against uh, the rabbit lions uh, Lots of veterans. I don't like that at all Because veterans have a lot of hit points and typically just don't go down after being pierced once Okay. Enemy force located locally. I sneak. Tiha. Oh, Galupchik. All right, one down. Это что ещё за хрень? Uh, snipers do have an armored head. They not see a rival of attack. Very good. Two down. Couple of enemies down there, interestingly enough. <clears throat> question is can we single pull them potentially not good veteran sniper saw someone die uh, that is generally not good <clears throat> because at least one of them can react nope that's not a sniper Some civilians are moving. <clears throat> oh, help! It hurts! It hurts! I cannot promise this shot. Good, are we still hidden? Not sure. We're taking cover. Yeah, maybe we are. Nope, maybe we're not. <clears throat> Good, sniper needs to die first. Uh, then the melee brutes next. We are in a good spot here. They cannot get up here. We're in full cover. Hmm. I think I'll still lay down. All right, for whatever reason, we're suppressed. Another headshot. And we're preparing yet another shot for this guy. Can they get up this hill? No, they cannot. No, they cannot. Well, maybe they can. Tell them you shall fall for every one of us. 
Uh, we're still hiding, <coughs> so let's continue taking cover. Reload, free movement. And we're crouching. Great, that worked really, really well, much better than I would have expected. Let's see, we got ourselves an M14. And the rest didn't even drop a weapon. Hmm. Could use some armor. Kevlar armor is heavily, heavily injured. And I still have gunpowder. Maybe to craft a bit more shotgun shells. Let's potentially our lowest ammo at this point. Okay, I suspect I more the remaining enemies are somewhere over there. There wasn't a lot of loot here, if I recall correctly, there was almost none. Okay. Good. I think three more, if I counted correctly. Maybe we can get up here and see if we can snipe one or two of them. So far we haven't even seen someone. That's a bad sign. Pretty sure there are enemies around uh, the dockyard. Would have been great to use the ledge because then they can't just rush into me. That is the worst uh, thing that could happen to us, enemies just rushing us. So then the only counterplay is use the shotgun and basically try to hit them hard and fast. Enemy. There we go. A few enemies. Okay, he has seen him through the door, really? This guy is dangerous. He has the return fire ability.
Hmm. I think we're just going to hunker down and hope that he's not finding us. We're still hidden, technically. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, cool. Still no strength upgrade. Um, let's go with rage. More damage might be helpful, and we have two more perks. I still want to get Line Breaker. We got all of the perks that I wanted. Line Breaker is an option. Lightning Reflexes, Frog Leaping, Vanguard, and Dead Eye would all be decent options. Got some more gunpowder, which is good. Cool. We didn't get great loot though. Specifically, an armor would be helpful because we're running around with complete tattered racks. Okay. Bye. A little bit more experience, that's not bad. Yeah, but no great uh, loot. Nothing really. I was hoping we would maybe get a few more parts for repair. Biggest problem at the moment, like I said, is the armor. Because I think a broken armor doesn't not uh, really provide any protection whatsoever. Door is locked. A crowbar would also be nice. could run a couple of operations here. If we were to craft ammo, how long would that take? Very short range, uh, improved armor penetration. That would be good. Standard shotgun ammo. And a little bit more 40 cal ammo. One and a half days. Mm, halfway. Okay, one day. Hmm. I think it's the best we can do at this point. All right, let's start.
Okay, so we got enough shotgun ammo. That's fine. Do not have a lot of breacher ammo though, which is not optimal, really. But we got armor piercing 44 caliber. That's good enough. Any other operations? Can't read wounds. We could craft explosives. How long would that take? One hour for five Molotovs? Hmm. I say we're taking the time. Smoke grenades would be cool. Can we craft tear gas? Uh, more high explosive grenades would be great. But I guess that this year is good enough. Three hours, super quick. Crafted the other five. Where have they gone to? Okay, we were robbed of five Molotov cocktails, but okay, um, it is what it is. Six are good enough for now. We are rushing on, and next up, we have a couple of veterans plus a lot of hyenas. So. Well, that will be an interesting fight. Uh, we don't need to do it, but if we're playing our cards right, we could get a proper armor out of it, and of course a lot of experience. So let's double check. I wonder, are we going to already take our armor penetration? At 70 shots, No, I think we're okay for now. More gunpowder that we're not potentially not yes. going to use. Can we scrap that? No. Okay, we're going to take out the stragglers left and right first. This time, luckily for us, we do not have fog, so we should be able to hit all of our shots and hopefully kill the guys. Alright, Ivan moves up a little bit. Move on, move on, and let me take care of that scout. Good, these guys can be as suspicious as they want for now. We got a kill, that's good. Sneak 
Well. Full cover. And we're still hit. The beast is occurring at the beach. That's helpful for us. She takes a lot of damage. And we gotta deal with the hyenas. These are amongst the most dangerous combatants. sneaking up we are going to leave her with all of uh, the work hopefully we're not um, spotted out Good. Well, we got a bit of a problem here. Uh, mainly because uh, they know where we are. That means we will be in deep, deep trouble. Shoot! Drive those foreigners back where they came from. Are you for real? You ran across the entire beach. No comment. I wish I... I would need to read up, but I think uh, the AI gets bonus movement. It is absolutely impossible to make that that amount of movement and then still, still take a normal action. Good. Taking cover. We have a good position here. Unfortunately, the enemy starts to be uh, starts to move up here. And we're hunkering down again. 
taking some actions over for next turn. More enemies. Holy. And we're hunkering down. We do have cover from this side, believe it or not. More hyenas. I now start to regret opening that fence. Yeah, we're just hunkering down. We got cover, he would need to go into the open. The other two are not close enough. We still have cover from this side. That, that's a stupid position. deal with this guy first. It's the strongest weapon. I am dead if more wounds arrive. Я сейчас сдохну. Идиот, командир. And we're healing. Alright, we're back to five wounds. Kind of a sweet spot. to heal and I think we're just continuing to heal he has not spotted us out I stand corrected he has spotted us out this is Santiago good job on securing those mines hands off my mind chorus you are the rabbit. You just don't know it. Uh, nice armor. Unfortunately, I would need that here. Unload, scrap. Oh, highly modified commando. 100% commando. That's actually quite good. But that's an SMG. Not sure if we need one or if we rather go with the MGL. We've never used the MGL so far. Um It comes with a quick scope, that's great. And accuracy bonus uh, doubling with vertical grip, even as a UV dot on top of it. And a silencer, it's a very good um, weapon, very well modified. We're going with armor piercing in case we ever need it. Uh, I would swap it in 
And then we can move and hit at the same time. I move. Not exactly a shotgun, but not bad either. We got ourselves another mine. That's not bad. I mean, we don't need income at the moment. I need a way to deal with the wounds, but we got a Metavion, so we could use uh, that after the A20 fight. I find the thing. Так, так, что здесь? Uh, that's not bad. More armor piercing. The lens might be good. Uh, what could we do with it? Uh, that requires a chip. Okay. Uh, we do have a quick prism scope here and this weapon does not really need a quick prism scope. I tell you what, we're still taking that lens with us just in case we're finding a different weapon that requires another scope. more parts and unfortunately we're not skilled enough to do anything with that still can't treat our wounds can't really repair anything So, we're now doing the Ascent. We need to chill here, at least for a little bit. Ah, okay, this was where the corpses were. Um, stream upwards is where we will find more enemies. This here should be a safe area. We've lost the beast um, in our last fight. So no more indirect support. But she did well because she mainly tanked all of the enemies for us and retaliated quite a bit. And potentially, to be honest, the weapon that we found might have been hers. We don't have a machete. Good, we won't get that extra loot there. Need to chill for a couple more hours and then we're good. I don't like being tired. Very good. Which nicely brings us to C20. The beginning of the ascent. We are halfway in. So not a lot not a lot of pauses from now on. Not a lot of pauses from now on. Overall have we started at the 3rd of April, to be fair, 3rd or 4th of April. Uh, so 
if we're going here at the 17s, that still would be fine. We would then go here, take the ra uh, road, and then essentially go over. I think we we still can do it. Um, yeah. What are we going to load? Uh, 44 standard or armor penetration? All right. We're just using standard ammo. Stupid hyenas, uh, that's going to be an issue. How do we trick those guys? Maybe we're not, maybe we're just continuing to scout and Smoke. ignore them. Nice. Marksmanship, yes. Mechanical, yes. Chips. Ooh, and night sight. Okay, we can't use night vision, so good uh, good intention. Unfortunately, not uh, helpful for us. More lenses. The chips actually could be helpful. We wanted a red dot here. Uh, that's not bad. Yeah, we could go for a red dot, I suppose. Uh, and I mean, I could, uh, I could uh, go and get a grenade launcher here. You know what? We're going to do that. Let me modify this uh, real quick. Be right back. Okay, uh, apparently I can't even modify it, so some of the modifications just straight up do not work for whatever reason. I'll just take that as a sign that the game doesn't want me to do it. Plenty of hyenas here. Which, by the way, would be a real problem. Mainly because we can't shoot fast enough to get rid of all of them. So instead, let's go down here. And we're going inside. Freeloader's Cavern. Okay. Best soldiers fight in two tasks. Same time. Без вопросов. I see how it is. Uh, we're going to do a good old a trick here. One that served as well. I sneak kill now. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your alarm thing.
All right, see you later, guys. And in case you're wondering, well, Saiken, why are you doing that? Listen, it is a solo run. I'm going to use everything that the game legally allows, other than hardcore abuses. And if you consider this a hardcore abuse, then yeah, bad luck. I'm going to clear this room the safe way. So far it worked out very well, like every single one of them immediately fell down. It's also a relatively easy way to kind of re-stealth. And reload at the same time. Keep it going. I heard. You can't be a now you must die. <laughs> well, no, I don't need to die. We're going to go in and out, in and out. Almost there. Got two uh, two down this time. Fabulous. Two more to go. And then we can actually start moving into the area. I heard. Oh, enemy spotted. Так точно. Иду в атаку. Иду. What would what, what? There is still a sniper on that side. Okay, so can't use uh, that. We still are requiring a better armor. Unload, unload. M twenty fours are cool. But we require better armor. Ooh, beautiful. Uh, new MGL, now that I can't use that. Hmm. I don't know, guys. Should I just get rid of the lens and uh, this? No more weapon modifications, but... At least high explosive grenades, maybe. Yeah. 
I think there were mines somewhere here. But there was also fabulous loot. Conflict here is definitely not resolved yet. Great shotgun, really good shotgun. Unfortunately, poor condition. Auto shotgun, super good. I move. Anaconda, also a good weapon. Now we got the Winchester. Same ammunition type, Winchester is better though. Let's just try to lure these guys back to the beginning. Maybe one of the other goons does have armor. We really need some decent armor. There are the landmines I was talking about. Ceramic plates. That's great. Damn it. Such a good loot. I tell you what. Uh, let's drop it so that it is in the sector loot. We'll come back and hopefully we can hopefully we can reutilize it. Good, very good loot. Door is locked. I think I've found all of the items. It's just this is one of those sectors where there is a lot of action. Many enemies seem to be traveling through. still hidden, hands take cover, wait for them to come. 
I think we've been spotted out. Edo, must be careful. Тут много врагов. I move. Так точно. Okay, well... We got it all. We got a big fat stash of loot. And I can't really use all of it. Um... In terms of sector stack, yeah, really fantastic um, loot for weapon modifications. I could go for a suppressor. But that's not really needed. I think the compensator for that weapon is better. This is completely modified, this is completely modified. We're actually good. I don't see a reason to change the core weapons. And since we are on our way to B20, might as well do that before we're, uh, before we're then ending today's episode. Clifftop uh, Overwatch. Yeah, yeah, enemies, we know. Good. Move down. And move up. Fantastic. Well, someone saw saw the butcher die, and we're moving slightly back to the entrance just in case. I'll use the easy way here. There's no point in not doing that. I beach. Sector loot, only a pair of knives. That's not really good enough. Uh, reload armor piercing, please.
All right, we have the retreat button. That is good. This might have the peace the sector finally. Ridiculous. I get a new pair of pants instead of a proper repaired armor. Hmm. By the way, we could just reload match. Because match does have extra uh, to hit chance, correct? Where is it? Increase bonus from aiming, yeah. Okay. Oh, G36, that's a great weapon. Have they improved the damage? Uh, it used to be three times eleven. This is three times seventeen. Hmm. And it is highly, highly modifiable. I wonder if that could be an upgrade to the AK. We got the parts. Am I really going to use uh, the commando? Let's see, there's 5 AP, that's 6 AP. That, but from, from that standpoint on, it might definitely be an upgrade. And I'm pretty sure they also updated the damage on the AK. 3 times 15 is higher than normal. Oh, now I do understand this is from raging. Okay, that is why the damage is higher, but still. The G36 has higher damage, more range, and has the same armor penetration, but uses 5.56 millimeter, which we do have plenty spare. I mean, we also have plenty of Warshaw packed spare. So the question is really Commando or uh, G36. And three times 13, does this here have run and gun? It has run and gun attack, has the UV dot, but we could get all of that. We do have plenty of uh, improvement. Hmm. The G36 also has the option for free weapon change. And it has five AP just like, hmm. I think we could even modify it. Accuracy bonus is doubled. This would be free. Hmm, well, that wouldn't be bad. Could be a grenade launcher. Could go with thermal scope. Increased accuracy and has UV dot options. Silent. Damn it, it's a really good weapon. And 100%. Alright, hate to do that. But welcome. I move. Friendship with Commando ended. Door is locked. New best friend G36. 
Так точно. Да. Так точно. Okay, but we're going to modify it first before we're going to do anything else. Interesting. Uh, the world event just happened. Okay, uh, listen guys, I'll modify the weapon and next time we're going to do A20. Uh, that is the end of today's episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Igor, uh, no, Ivan says thank you and uh, we are going to see each other in a few days. Thanks and have a good one. Bye-bye.